Hi. So my um my app that I chose to do was I call it Sourdough Soul. I named it after my company, which is Sourdough Soul. I sell sourdough bread and I also teach people how to make it. Um so the purpose of my app is to allow users to um, either use the bread calculator to um, set up a time, define what flour they're going to use, what bread they're going to be making, and have a timer that can tell them when to do each step. Because when you're making sourdough, you have certain times you have to turn it, you have to shape it. So it's a little complicated. This helps take away that. And then another part is the aspect of community that you can develop with sourdough and I've created a discussion board type thing kind of like social media where you can share pictures of your progress share pictures of your bread ask questions get help and then there's also a recipe section so you can add your own recipes or you can use recipes that are already there that I would put on there or someone else in the community and it's all in this one little app so kind of a dream that I've had for a while so I'm happy I finally got to make it um I'll walk you through my final design here and um yeah so grab it here all right so I got it um I went through a lot of different testing phases with this um and even after I got it all done, I still found more things I would really like to change. So I understand better now why app developers have so many updates all the time. Um, but I'll show you what I have right now. Um, here we are. Uh, this is our opening page. So when you turn on the app, that's where you're first going to go to. And after it loads, it'll bring you to this. And I'm sorry, it's blurry. I did not export it blurry. My computer is just really slow. Um, so you can either start a loaf. I'll take you to the bread timer recipes. So you'll go to the recipes or you click learn. That will transport you to, oh, there we go. Um, it'll take you to the uh, discussion board as well as some video lessons. So I made these little buttons. So start a loaf takes you here to this um, bread timer. And we can just keep going through. This one at the bottom will take us to recipes. Um, this little heart will bring us to a um, kind of an internal landing page where um, you can either do video tutorials or the Soul Society, that's what I call my discussion board. So video tutorials, if you click that, it takes you here. And once you're done with the videos, you can just click this heart again, and it will bring you back to Soul Society or video tutorials. If you click Soul Society, it brings us here. Um, you can see this is where you can find all the other posts. If you want to add a new post, you click that button, obviously, and search for previous posts. Um, and then when you want to, to make sure you're logged in, um, this is where you'd enter in all your profile information, your name, email, username, password, um, a profile picture so people know who you are. And this little hamburger icon right here will make this um, tiny screen pop up. We can change settings, such as making it a light or a dark screen, um, the language, notification button. And then if you have any uh, questions, you can check here. If you're in a pinch and need a question answered fast, uh, this is the frequently answered questions page. And once you're here, you've got all kinds of different things. I have this one opened up just to demonstrate what would happen on this page. So um, that is my app in a nutshell. Um, some of the biggest changes I made were to the uh, Soul Society page. Um, I got a lot of help with that one. Um, my sister and my mom really, uh, there's you need to change this, you need to change this, you need to change this. So I had so many edits done on that page, but overall I'm really pleased with where it's going. And I'm super happy that I've had this experience because I have learned a lot. Thank you.